Sandman here playing Farming Simulator 22 and welcome back to West Bridge Hills, our 10 year anniversary revisit here on the map. And since last episode, I have been busy harvesting here, almost have field 17 finished here. Uh, one of those things where I put uh, course play on this field, that one is like, you know what, uh, we'll put course play on it and uh, I'll go have dinner. We'll see once uh, how much progress course play has made when I get back. Well. <laughs> I don't, maybe I shouldn't be surprised, I mean, but, but at the same time, I am kind of surprised. I uh, got back here from dinner, and it's like, wow. Uh, I just started course play right where you see that little uh, spot right there, and that's where I started course play. Course play almost finished this entire field. I'm like, wow, that is just, uh, I don't know, folks, it's kind of impressive there, if you ask me. I don't know, like I said, maybe it shouldn't be, but uh, it just seems like it is. Anyway, got uh, course play also running the grain cart here, although the grain cart was being a little derpy. I'm not sure what was up with that. Maybe that's where the derp comes in, everyone. Uh, for some reason, the course play did not want to drive with the grain cart. They just kept saying path not found. Like, what do you mean path not found? You got a whole wide open field. You should have, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, got a full uh, trailer, or full, two full gravity wagons of soybeans here. We're going to take that down to the food factory. Let me double check that here before I do make sure I got this right. Uh, soybean oil at the food factory. And then also there was something else. Soy milk, yes. Sounds, does not sound good. Oh, we have water here. I don't know why it's saying that should be red, shouldn't it? I don't know, whatever, anyway. Because if we don't have the ingredient, I thought it showed up in red. Maybe because I don't have it active. Maybe when I try to activate it, then maybe it'll show up. But we'll probably have to get some water down here as well. Might have to look at uh, purchasing another tank and well. We'll see how that goes, everyone. Uh, again, you folks probably know my thoughts on uh, delivering water to the stuff like this. I'm like, what? Is this just not the most stupidest thing you've ever heard of? I'm like, Delivering water to your factory. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, what? Uh, maybe that's a, is that like a European thing? Maybe uh, if any of my European viewers can help me out. Like, uh, you bring water to your factories? Is, <laughs> I'm like, what? Who thought that was a good idea? Uh, okay. Oh, oh, wait. I was on the right one. Okay. Always make sure you select the back one. And this one. Oh. Watch where I'm going here, too. Oops. Get that back one on the trigger. And then that front one should be able to unload as well. Like I said, it is like really close. I mean, like if you look, you can see I'm like half on the trigger in the back, half on the trigger in the front here. It is just fitting on and I mean just so. But yes, uh, again, pretty much unload twice as fast this way. So just a little uh, tidbit there if you're uh, maybe new to using these uh, gravity wagons. And again, this probably won't work at all the unload spots, but at least uh, this one here. And so far, most of the other ones on this map, this works at. Okay, with well, that being said, we can now fire up soybean oil. So let's uh, activate that one. Oh, look, we need more pallets, that one. <laughs> uh, yeah. And soybean oil, we're just going to straight up sell that. So selling. And then also soy milk. Let's activate that. Ah, uh, okay, as soon as I try to activate it, then it's like no water. Okay, I was going to say, I like, don't think there's water in there. Okay, we're going to change output mode on that one to selling as well. Out of curiosity, how much does it like cost us to buy water? 100 bucks, huh? I wonder how much a 1,000 liters gets us. Holds uh, 26,000, yeah, okay, that's just a little bit. I think we can probably put a well and get a trailer cheaper than that, I think. Thank you, everyone. And I'm assuming... Where would we bring the water to here, I wonder? This spot here, maybe? Or is that the spawning spot? That might be the spawning spot. Okay, where would one bring water to this factory? There, possibly? Seems like a strange spot to dump water, but I mean, if that's, that's where it wants water, I guess. Anything back behind here, you know, just double check. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so I'm only seeing the one trigger, though, and that's got to be the one for the water, then, I assume. We'll probably, uh, like I said, look at uh, getting a water tank here and then uh, just buy a well as well. Then we can just uh, put the well near the water tank, refill and empty at the same time, kind of like we're doing with our greenhouses. Oh, it looks like our combining... 
grain cart are probably all finished here at this point. Might as well finish unloading them. And we can, uh, yeah, have this field finished. We're going to start to replant here, by the way. I've got the planter over on the other field here. No tractors on it at the moment, though. So I got both our large tractors over here. I don't know if the uh, little uh, case uh, would pull that or not. It might. I'm gonna, I kind of have my doubts, but you never know. Uh, of course, do you do not know how to put the pipe away or something. Normally, uh, of course, they will go on load. If that's the case, I'll just uh, hopefully pull up next to the combine here. Or next to the grain cart, anyway, that is. Oh, wait, where's he going? Well then, bud, you were uh, lined up pretty good there. I'll just uh, follow suit and go around him, I guess. I mean, again, I'm not, you know, I can't complain too much here about uh, course play. I, other than uh, course play being a little bit derpy with uh, like path not found. You know, I didn't have to like untangle course play at all or any of that other silly stuff. You gonna unload here, course play? Why? Come on, let's let's get this show going here. We're, we're, we got people waiting on us here. We'll just uh, hold them still here a minute until you finish this unload. There can't be that much more in the grain cart, I don't think. I didn't think there was anyway. Maybe there was a little bit more in there than I thought there was. Okay, we'll go finish unloading the combine here as well. Really not that much for uh, soybeans when you think about it, everyone. Is that it? Really? That, okay, that, that was it. Like, <laughs> almost nothing. Okay, so yeah, we got what, about uh, two, uh, two and a half? Yeah, a good two and a half gravity wagon loads here from this field as far as soybeans go. You know, again, really not, not a lot if you ask me, everyone. You know, given a fairly good sized field here goes to show you the yield on soybeans is much lower than all the rest of the crops. Makes for a relatively easy harvest, though. Make sure this gate goes up quick enough. Don't ask me how I know anything about that one. Okay, let that unload here a minute. And while that's unloading up, let's go uh, check the rest of our uh, factories here as well. Shouldn't be really much different here from last episode because we've only been a little bit of time here. Looks like everything else is, uh, yeah, let me, again, I'm in the pallets. Like, I don't know, what, what are you supposed to do about the pallets, everyone? Like, the, the, the sawmill is running. Apparently, it can't uh, crank out the pallets near fast enough, though, so. Oh, well. Hey, again, like I said, what are you supposed to do? Sugar cane. Oh, yeah, okay, that's just uh, full. So what's up with that one? Cabbage, yeah, all this stuff is running. And a fair amount. Is the strawberries full on the bakery? Yes, it is. Okay, strawberries are pretty much full there. Almost full on butter. Could use a few more eggs, gas, yeah, well, you know. And milk, not too bad there either. Again, I mean, we're buying milk, gas, sometimes pallets, eggs. Well, actually, you know what? No, we're not really buying the eggs. We're, we are making our own eggs here at this point. And butter, so... We are buying some of our own uh, inputs there on that one. Probably a little less than ideal, but... Trying to avoid having to do everything. Everyone. Otherwise, oh my goodness, the amount of time we'd have to spend on some of the stuff. Yeah. Okay, let's take this uh, tractor back to the farm here. Like I said, let's uh, see what's about getting another water tank here. And then we'll see what's about putting a well down as well. What I might do is see what's about uh, filling the water tank up at our current well. And then just see if I can find the unload trigger here first a minute. Once we know where the unload trigger is, then I know where I can put the well down. There we go. And let's see, what do we uh, currently have for a water tank here? Anything for sale, by the way? Not a whole lot, unless you want a John Deere 4000. There is a uh, case 
Eclo Tiger 879 shank. Which, oh, that actually, that is the one we own now. Cool. Not a half bad idea. Maybe uh, getting another one of those. I mean, given how long it takes our current one for working. That's not exactly one of the uh, quick uh, jobs there, that's for sure. Miscellaneous. Uh, we got one of the Joskins. Okay, well, let's just get another Joskin here. That, I believe, is under miscellaneous, right? That one right there. Yep, that is the one. We'll get one of those and, yeah, just up the capacity on that one, Evan. Like I said, we're just going to set this down here and it's, it's basically going to be, uh... Yeah, just don't ask me why, one. Yeah, yeah, bringing water to the factory. Ridiculous. You know, I guess I'm gonna uh, technically maybe I can't blame my uh, giants on this one too much because this is technically a food factory. I don't think this is actually uh, a giants mod. But it, it's still something Giants would do. I mean, I mean, there are other stuff that does take water that you got to bring water to, which, again, just uh, greenhouses, for example. Evan. Like, uh, has Europe not heard of plumbing? Like I said, even, uh, you, you know, even the Romans had plumbing. Okay. Hopefully we can uh, squeeze in by our current well there, like I said, one, and uh, see if we get some water from that. And then once we uh, know where to unload, then we'll know where to put a well down. And hopefully we can actually put a well down where I need to, because, you know, again, we're kind of on top of an already existing, uh, probably a placeable there, I'm assuming. So sometimes things can get a little uh, crazy with that. Ideally, Evan, I want the well close enough so that we're basically right next to the unload trigger so we can fill and unload at the same time, right? Just hook a tractor up to it, fill and unload. Oh. Uh, we might have to move some stuff here because the well, I think, is right there. Yes, it is. Um, I couldn't, you know what? Maybe just come around the backside. That might be the better way. Let's try that instead. trailer here is uh, surprisingly easy to back up. And hopefully we can get close enough. Start filling tool. Apparently we can. Excellent. That looks like it's actually going to let me unload as well, really. Let me unload as well. Okay, cool. Four dollars miscellaneous. I was at the water. No idea what that was. I, I don't think again we get charged for the water here at that well as far as I know of one. Okay, to our food factory. Then we can start making soy milk. Delicious. Nah. Oh, Kelly said so this is going to be kind of annoying if this is actually where you dump the water. Apparently it is. Okay. Kind of was wondering as much. I mean, I didn't see any other spots, so that's the ones like, yeah, that's probably it. Okay, tools. No, containers. Which one is under the water? Yes, there we go. There's our alternate water. And excellent, we can actually put one down here. Okay, cool. I'm just going to put that right there. I can't fill from it. Yeah, I can. Okay. Like I said, there you can see that one. We are filling and emptying at the same time. And if we go check our factory here, the water should be going up. Yes, it is. And this thing looks like it holds a fair amount of water as well, of one. Oh, that means we won't have to refill it very often then. I think it's still filling, yeah, based on the fact that the numbers down there are actually, like, flickering. Hopefully. I 
I mean, if you had to bring this water from uh, somewhere outside of this side of one, especially with a small little Joskin trailer, you have to make, what, probably like a half a dozen trips or something like that. Oh, that'd be just absolutely, actually, what, 4,000. And then we hold, where's the water? 26,000. So we'd have to make, yeah, a half a dozen trips. Literally, Evan, half a dozen trips. Okay, there we go. And we'll just stop, park this around the corner. Might have to look at uh, maybe uh, seeing if we can uh, get another cheap tractor or something. I'm just something to pull our water tanks around with. Actually, you know how much was that uh, tractor? We were just in the shop, everyone. Sale. Eh, 12000 Can we get anything cheaper yet? Like, I'm, I'm talking cheap, I'm in small tractors. What can we get for, you know, a thousand bucks, right? We just need something to uh, pretty much like hook to. Uh, a water tank and uh, essentially like park it over the unload trigger just so we, yeah, we can use it. There's some uh, interesting looking tractors. There's the BM 2654. Oh, funky looking little tractor there. Nice little Kubota. Kind of looks like a John Deere almost, but definitely a very similar color scheme on that. There we go. International 706 on $6,000. Uh, 806, 6,500. Wait, the, the H is 12,000? Why is, why is the H more expensive? Okay, whatever. Oh, that's a... Uh, Maybe need some. Oh, there we go. Model A, I'm on 2000. The only problem with that one is the tractor goes like, what, the six mile an hour or something like that? No, 15, huh? Wow. I thought it was six. It says 15 in the shop, but. A Series 710, huh? That's a small one. That might be like a perfect little tractor for that. We'll have to see once here. Anyway, I'll worry about that another time. I'm, like I said, another. Uh, actually, maybe two tractors might be kind of nice. Have one down by the greenhouses there and then also one up here just uh, so you know pull the water tank into position we'll have to see once how often that needs to be filled up I and mean, maybe maybe it doesn't need to be filled that often the greenhouse one er, that's what every few days you got to fill that one so fairly consistent job anyway speaking of a consistent job better get to work that one i still want to get uh field 16 replanted here like i said i got the planter over there so let's uh, head over there next I always forget that that is bumpy there. And obviously in between episodes, got uh, Field 15 replanted. Now, speaking of Field 15, by the way, I think that needs some fertilizer on that. You know, let's maybe, uh, go grab our little Maxim tractor here and get you uh, working on putting down some fertilizer. Perfect little uh, tractor for that job there, if you ask me. Have one? Apparently Farming Simulator 13 on it, right? In Farming Simulator 22. So far, this little, uh, was it Massey Ferguson spreader, I think it is? Been serving us uh, quite well here on the map. Okay, throw a hired worker on that. Can you uh, fold out the plan here? Let's get some uh, GPS set up here while we're waiting for that to fold out. We are running 90 degrees auto width. Oh, and this begs the question, Evan, what should we plant? Anything else? Oh, we could do uh, canned corn. So corn might be a good choice, Evan. Although, we got corn planted already, don't we? So do we need more corn? That is the question, though. Or should we go like soybeans? Back to the factories. Anything else we can like uh, produce at these? We could do canola. No sunflower. We can do sunflower oil. 
can also do olive oil. Probably not. But we can do sunflower oil. That might be a good choice. Let's do uh, some sunflower oil. Maybe we should plant the big field in that. That might be a good idea. You know, instead of the small field, Evan, let's do the big field in sunflowers. Anything else, then? Anything we can do on the small... We're good on flour, Evan, so we don't really need anything there. Sugar, pretty good on... Anything else small that we can do? Not really. And you know what? Okay. Fine, we'll just do the sunflowers then, Evan. Two fields of sunflowers. We'll plant this on the big field then as well. Oh, you are not lining up properly with GPS. Let's try that again. There we go. Like, no, 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 there, bud. Tires got to turn the other way. There we go. Just uh, no tilling us in here, by the way, which reminds me I should probably double check that. Are our fields good as far as lime and all that good stuff? I think we are. Yeah, should be good. Perfect. And just a reminder, heaven, if you haven't already, click that uh, subscribe button, heaven. Don't forget to do so. Always very much appreciated. And, of course, once you are subscribed, don't forget to turn on your notifications there as well. Get notified of the next latest, greatest Westbridge Hills episode going live here. And then don't forget to, heaven, if you like the video, you know what to do. Give her a old thumbs up there. Or, you know, I suppose, as I usually say, you know, if you if you don't like the video for some reason, you know, what's wrong with you, right? <laughs> There's always the thumbs down video as well. Oh, I need to, I keep forgetting about this. How much is it going to cost? You know, we're almost out of seed, Evan. We're almost out. When we run out of seed, let's see once how much it'll cost us to upgrade this plant, everyone. It shouldn't matter if we do it with seed in it, but just in case it does. Again, I'm trying to save up money so we can uh, afford, afford the oil refinery there. And again, that is a nice whopping million. Why are you off? Okay. Actually, turn you off. Oh, I got out of the tra That's Okay. Yeah, that's probably what happened. But yeah, like I said, the oil refinery, that would have a cool whopping $1 million for that one there. So try not to spend too much money on other stuff here. Although I am still debating about other factories here at this point. I want to see what else we can buy as far as factories are concerned. We own quite a few of them here at this point. At least I think we do anyway. Anyway, but let's head over to the uh, comment section here a moment. See what we folks had to say here for last episode. And as a reminder, always enjoy reading all you folks' comments. So if you haven't left one... Down below, I enjoy reading them. Uh, and speaking of reading them, by the way, let's start off with the uh, first one here. Matt Emma saying, in the bottom right corner, it tells you how much weight you are carrying. Hey, that is a very good point. I always forget about that. Uh, so, yes, down here we are currently... Okay, so I'm not sure what 11 ton is. Is that the planter or is that the tractor? Okay, apparently that's the tractor. The planter apparently is another 6.4 tons, so... I don't know. Sorry. Bad math there. 5.4 tons. 16.4 total. Uh, you know, I don't think I need to fold this up, do I? Shouldn't have to. Let's uh, see once how much this is going to cost. I mean, I might not do this here, depending on how much. Uh, so we're going to want... Bulk fill. No, we need bulk fill. Ah, here we go. Zero dollars? Really? Now, I would like bulk fill plus, plus liquid fertilizer, so that's actually not bad of one. Like, uh, if I just want bulk fill of one, I could do that for $0. Cool. That means I could probably actually fill this planter now. As a reminder, uh, before I could not get this planter to uh, fill, which uh, I don't know, folks, I found that to be kind of annoying, right? I don't know if I have any seed over here or not. I think I put it all in our seed tender there for... Covers don't open. Okay. 
Uh, I would have thought the covers would open on this. Okay, seed. Uh, maybe not quite that much. How about t yeah? How about ten thousand? Sure. And you know, because I want to save money, we're gonna cheat fifteen thousand dollars back. And as a reminder, one with Giants Economics here, uh, Giants cheats you out of a crap ton of money when you buy seed that way. And because I, like I said, want to save money, I'm not gonna do that. Is this like not open? Really? Why is this not filling? I'm betting at this point now we should be able to open the covers on this. Well, how do you like that one? I still might not be able to fill it. It's not letting me fill. Okay, I do still want to have probably fertilizer on this yet. Oh, that's actually... Really? Why did it give me that? There we go. Okay, so bulk fill. No, we want... That's what we want. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Oh, actually, that might... Is that enough? Let's see if that's enough. And that's only plus 10,000. I still cannot open the tanks. I don't know what it takes. Uh, do we don't have to go in the back here and open these tanks, do we? Pick up object, throw, grow, sell... Uh, I don't see nothing. Open vehicle option. No, that's just going to open this up. Yeah, okay, we don't want that. Hmm. How would one open the tanks on this one, everyone? It's, it's a mod from the Mod Hub. You would think this would work, everyone, but apparently not. Let's see if we can put liquid fertilizer in it. I don't know if we even have any liquid fertilizer. We'll find out here. You first need to fill the tool. Wow, really? Amazing concept there, game. If only I could. Uh, let me see. Do I have any fertilizer in here? I do. Hmm. Well, when, uh, I, I don't know of one. I have no clue. Let's see if there's like an update for this or something. Something is very clearly broken on this mod. Can't fill the fertilizer, can't fill the seed. And and uh, I've tried all the open cover buttons I can think of. I don't know if folks know of any other open cover. I've tried N, I've tried Z, I've tried pushing a few other buttons here as well randomly. Doesn't seem to do anything. Okay, well, fortunately, well, we got the uh, cheating mod here. We'll uh, let us uh, fill it. Fill unit one, seed, check. Fill unit two, check. Yeah. Rather annoying that you have to do that, but oh well. Are oh, you not done folding out yet? I guess I missed it by just a, like a second there. Okay, that's going to be a little bit annoying now because now I'm going to have the, like, the first row and a half there is not going to have fertilizer on it. The rest will. Oh well. Uh, Matt, I'm going back to the comments here, by the way, was saying... If you get the upgrade factory mod, you can upgrade your factory and make them faster and hold more product. You know what? I might have to look into that, just at least for our sawmill, because again, that sawmill is not keeping up with the uh, demand for the pallets here. <laughs> and again, we just added more products this episode that need even more pallets. I think I would learn, just, you know, maybe not do that. Uh, Tim was saying, good video, course play for the win. Got that right there, uh, Tim. Of course, play for the win this episode. Or, well, in between episodes, anyway. Uh, Mason was saying, over on time. Nobody ever uh, complained about that. Where is my strawberry cake? Uh, I might have ate it. Uh, I'm not sure what chickens giants have, but every chicken I know of will eat just about any grain out there, including oats. Uh, chickens are not too picky in what they eat in real life. I think you might make more money just selling some crops at the sell point, especially if you want to uh, make more money fast. Is there any way to sell the surplus of flour and sugar? The next tier probably won't be use that much sugar and flour for a long time. Uh, with that wagon and tractor setup, you are weighing anywhere from 40 to 50 tons 
uploaded, depending on the crop being hauled. I also enjoy the video. Keep it up. Hey, thank you very much for that. Uh, you, you make a very good point there, Mason. Yes. Uh, chickens in real life tend to eat just about anything, including their own eggs. Or at least egg shells, anyway. They especially, you know, like the bugs and uh, pretty much any type of grain. Unfortunately, apparently, the game here were forced to. <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, forced to give them, like, actual chicken feed, though. So, oh well. Anyway, speaking of uh, time there, Mason, I just looked over at the time here again, and it is time to wrap it up here this episode. So on that note, you folks have any comments and or questions, be sure to leave them down below. And as always, everyone, thanks for watching. Until next time.